For the last eight months, I've been diving deep into various AI tools to see which can help my SEO lead generation business the most. The biggest priority was to get a good AI content writer, but ChatGPT was not cutting it. The output was too generic. Not enough keywords in the content. So I had to create my own system. Enter agentic workflow. But if you take an agentic workflow and wrap it around GPT 3.5, say, it actually does better than even GPT 4. I created a team of AI agents that each had different tasks. A researcher that went into the SERPs and pulled 100 relevant keywords from already ranking articles. An outline maker that ordered the H2s and the H3s in the right hierarchy. A copywriter using the most advanced language model, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is known to be smarter than ChatGPT at this point. And a proofreader that made sure all the content was easy to read and it made sure to remove any repetitiveness. AI is here to stay, but it's not here to replace humans quite yet. More so, it's the humans that learn to effectively synergize with AI will become the future titans of entrepreneurship. Hey, what's going on guys? So before I discuss about my new AI content writer that I've created, let me just first explain why it's so advantageous to create all these different articles surrounding the main topic and how that's gonna allow us to outrank our competition. So for example, most people, when they create a roofing website, they're gonna target the main keyword like roof repair. But there's also a lot of other keywords surrounding roof repair that my site could cover that the competition is not covering. But traditionally in the past, we just covered the main keywords like roof repair, roof installation, residential roof repair, commercial roof repair, because each page costs money to write, right? Whether you write yourself, it takes cost of your time or you pay somebody else to do it. It was quite expensive to create like 50 pages on one local lead gen site. But with AI content writers that's been really fine tuned, we can produce this content much, much faster. Instead of having only five to 10 pages, I can get 30 pages but let's first take a look at how we can pick what kind of pages to write about if i have a site that's semantically relevant keywords all around roof repair and i cover it in all these different angles more so than the competition google has no choice but to start to give me more and more authority so right now the example that i'm going to use is roof repair in providence rhode island let's look at the number one guy they have 105 referring domains of eight but I like that there is no city in the brand name. This site is ranked number three, the Rhode Island Roofers, because they have Rhode Island in their brand name and I put RI, but that doesn't mean this company is really targeting Providence, the city. So let me check. So they have some Providence in their content, but it's not really in their page title. So if we create a site all around Providence, the city, chances are we can outrank these guys and we won't have to need as much backlinks. Let's pull up the number one guy and site semicolon search his domain. I just want to see how many pages are indexed in Google from this guy. So they only have 22 pages indexed and a lot of these pages are not necessarily targeting high buyer intent keywords. There's a kind of like information posts like how to identify roof water damage. These are not getting any traffic, right? Zero ST. Zero ST. So these are like generic kind of blog posts. It's not really targeting any problem or buyer intent keywords. And I'm gonna show you in a second how to find those buyer intent keywords. The other guy on page one, they only have 33 pages indexed, right? And again, a lot of these pages are not the greatest pages targeting a specific keyword. So right away, there's I see a massive opportunity here to start getting traffic. So I'm gonna go to epeg.com tools, keyword research tool, and then I'm gonna put roof repair. So because the competition doesn't have that many like pages, I'm gonna go ahead and take this list of all the different roof repairs that it gave me, like flat roof repair, skylight repair, and all these different things. And I'm gonna combine it with the word installation. So I'm gonna make a page, for example, like flat roof repair and installation. First, I'm gonna copy this into Excel spreadsheet. It gave me some like pretty unique keywords that 
when you use like keyword planner and these different common tools that a lot of people use, you, you don't find these kind of keywords like fascia repair. Fascia is like the underside of the roof. Roof fascia, repair and replacement. It gets some search volume as well. So right away, I'm gonna use this AI to write 40 pages because you know, why not? My competition only has 30 and they're not targeting a lot of keywords. So I'm gonna go ahead and target 40 and let's first create the home page go to epay.com content writer the paid version this content writer that we've developed uses agentic workflow which i can show you a little clip about agentic workflow but basically when you create different agents ai agents and you allow them to check each other's work and make iterations with each other you get to be able to produce results that are far exceed the average language models out there with an agentic workflow, this is what it may look like. Have an AI, have an LLM, say, write an essay outline. Do you need to do any web research? If so, let's do that. Then write the first draft, and then read your own first draft, and think about what parts need revision, and then revise your draft, and you go on and on. And so this workflow is much more iterative, where you may have the LLM do some thinking, um, and then revise this article, and then do some more thinking and iterate this through a number of times. And what not many people appreciate is this delivers remarkably better results. So with this AI writer, what it does is it'll first go research the topic. So it'll go to the actual search results of Google, scrape different websites that are ranking at the top for that topic, and it'll extract overall 100 different keywords and entities from each of those top ranking articles, and it'll use that as a basis to write the article. The problem with general chat GPT is that because you're asking it to write about a topic and it's got access to way too much data, the results get pretty generic. Whereas when you begin to limit the knowledge or the information that it has access to or it's able to utilize, the results get much better. And this also has certain agents that also proofread the content and make sure it's got a nice flow and it'll edit sentences that are very difficult to read. So for this one, I was to say homepage content of a roofing company in this old island. This company is called what I named this company was Providence Roofing Company. PT4 AI powered article length default. For the off pages, I'm gonna pick like, I think shorter, like 950 to 1350 words. But for the home page, I'm gonna select default. I'm gonna use first person plural because we're gonna talk as if we're the company, we, us, ours. So we're gonna use that. Use real time data. I'm also gonna include a FAQ section and then I'm gonna hit create article. So it's getting produced. While that's happening, I'm also gonna ask the same command to chat GPT so you guys can compare the difference in quality of content. Write me a home page content. All right, so here's the output from my content writer. Yeah, it's got a nice little intro. All the sentences look legit. That's what's amazing when you use Agentic because I have a few different agents that'll make improvements on the original version. And also how the outline is formed is you also using AI and studying the top ranking articles to make sure we have the right headings. It's adding various keywords like metal roofing, slate roofing, asphalt shingles, commercial roofing, roof repair, roof replacement process. So it's even got some content that makes it like a little bit more unique, enhancing curb appeal with your roof, color selection, material choice, durability aesthetics. So then it goes a little bit more deeper into each of those topics. Even got a section about a roofing project gallery where you can insert some pictures of previous work. What's also really nice is oftentimes when you use AI content to make it expand or make up much bigger content, it ends up repeating a lot of the same concepts, but this one also has another agent that remove repetitiveness. So all this content is unique and have, was not repeated before on this page. Customer testimonials, I even got a frequently asked question. When I ask it to ChatGPT, ChatGPT gives you very basic content with, it's not keyword rich either. Maybe I can help ask it to expand further. So can you make this a 1200 words homepage content that's more in depth, more keywords? It's trying its best to expand on it. So it mentions roof repair here. From minor leaks to major storm damage, our team is equipped to handle all types of roof repairs. We use advanced techniques and materials to restore the integrity of your roof, preventing further damage and extending its lifespan. So that sounds very generic. Whereas my content writer with roof repair, 
it, it lists a lot more problems like so like sometimes roofs sustain damage due to weather conditions or normal wear and tear we offer prompt and efficient roof repair services such as issues such as leaks missing shingles and structural damage or repair process it goes even describes the process detailed inspection number one number two diagnosis of the problem number three efficient repair with quality materials number four follow up to ensure repairs hold up we aim to prevent small issues from escalating to costly repairs and replacements. See, it just feels much more of a human written content and it's also more convincing that this company's content really sound a lot more of an expert. So you can copy the clipboard and then you can save it to a Word doc. But what's also nice is this is already saved in the library of your account, homepage content and Providence roof repair. So you can always come back here as well. Okay, so now let's create an off page, roof shingle repair. I would like to double check on keyword everywhere tool that roof shingle repair does get monthly search volume all across the country and the world. It's something that people are gonna type and use. So I wanna create a page just for this, roof shingle repair in Providence RI. The company name is Providence make sure that AI also use our brand name in the content as well. And then ChatGPT4 AI powered. And then the length, I want it to be an off page. So I don't want it to just keep going on and on. So I'm just gonna pick shorter, 900 to 1350 word. Use real time data, first person we us. Okay, I'm not gonna ask for FAQ on this one. All right, so I created this content. How much more in-depth can it get about shingles? I think it's a topic that you're not gonna get crazy in-depth because it's just focused on shingles, but I like how content writer didn't just start making up different things to, to write about. It stuck with the, the premise that we're talking about shingle repairs here. So durable shingles, we use shingles that are designed to withstand harsh weather conditions, ensuring your roof remains intact and effective for years to come. We inspect for common issues such as loose or damaged shingles, clogged gutters, and signs of wear and tear. So that's good. I'm gonna pick maybe 30 more articles to write about, publish it on the site, and we'll keep tracking how it does in the search engines. All these articles are gonna be able to pick up different types of traffic much more effectively than just creating just information-based articles like what the competition has done. So stay tuned. Now, I get questions all the time. AI content rank, and I've already tested this AI content writer for several months, three, four months now. Uh, and yes, I have sites out there that's ranking. For example, if you type in affordable junk removal, Sacramento, California, I have this site with zero backlinks ranking in the fifth spot and starting to gain traffic and the entire uh, content for this site was written by my agentic workflow AI content writer. Part of the reason why it's ranking really well is I have built all these different pages that the competition have not built. So Google is now looking at my site as more of an authority around junk removal in Sacramento. Guys, as you know, epay.com, I have over 1500 articles and we are using this AI content writer to get the foundation and then we're improving upon that. Well, that is very competitive market where the content quality matters a lot. In local, it's not as competitive, right? If you have the right keywords in the right places, you can rank. But the beauty of this content writer is that it speeds that process up and it makes it a lot cheaper. See, most people have an issue ranking in local because they don't, they just simply don't have enough articles out there targeting buyer intent keywords. With AI content writer tool and my keyword research, we are able to target those buyer intent. So right now, my team and I are scaling out and building a lot more local Legion sites right now. And if you're still on the outside looking in, now is the time to catch this wave and take advantage of these AI tools. Remember, if you are somebody that's watching a video like this, you are still a rare anomaly in the population. Like most people have heard of AI, but they have no idea how to really use it in a way that allows them to make money, right? People are might be using ChatGPT to ask some questions and whatnot, but most people still don't know how to utilize AI and wield the power of AI to start making money. And with local Legion, I'm literally giving you guys the blueprint to be able to do that. So if you're somebody serious about starting to make real passive income on the internet, click the link in the description and check out our coaching program. We've been coaching this local Legion model over the last 10 years. We have 7,400 students. We're really the best uh, teachers in this space.
I'm doing live coaching call once every week where I go much more in depth about all these different strategies. So if you're interested, click on the link on the description, watch some of our case studies, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.